All right, and we are live with the part two of our Evil Within stream. Um, so I believe I upgraded before we jumped off last time, so we should be good on that. Let's double check. Uh, where's my... Does it not show my goo point? Oh, there it is. 1300. Uh, let's go and open some of these doors, actually. Not the doors, the uh, locks. We should be able to get some more cool stuff. And, yep, more goo. 5,000 is nothing to scoff at either. More healing. Can't even hold that many. Um, how many do I have right now? Three. Uh, let's see if we can get anything decent. I'm not really using the Agony Crossbow, so while I probably should invest in it, if I'm not using it, it's kind of like, what's the fucking point? Um, mainly looking to get my pistol, like, really up and going. Um, man, you know what? Since the syringe is, like, literally right there, I'll, I'll complete that, and then just go back and grab it. But... Basically, just I really just want to play this game as, as offensively as possible. Um, I feel like whenever I would play previously, I was maybe a little bit too timid with it, and that led to many, many deaths. So let's try to avoid that. Alright, um, came from here, I believe. Uh, let's just do a re quick recap of what we have. We have pistol, shotgun, put on ammo there. Do we have any grenades? We have two. You're not gonna get up, are you, buddy? Good. Someone's down there. So is the way forward through here? Or through down there? I'm guessing it's straight ahead, it's not through there. I just legit don't remember. Oh! What the f God damn it. <laughs> uh, this game has a freaking hard on for insta deaths and uh, like yeah, I heard the click, but I didn't I have to start all the way back here. And with the Okay, that's actively annoying that it's going to send me back here just to use the keys again so that I can uh That's annoying. Got some gel. Let's get the syringe, which... Oh, I opened a different one, so that's shotgun ammo. Okay. Uh, maybe I should upgrade my shotgun capacity then. That's a little bit different. I don't recall if like each specific locker has a specific item in it, or if it's all just like kind of randomized. Um... Shotgun ammunition, let's upgrade it once. Uh, let's see if that's enough. Otherwise, we'll go back and grab the rest after. But yeah, let's let's remember to save this time. I, I don't know, like, games that don't have proper checkpoints, like, annoy the shit out of me. Um, there's no, like, two ways around it for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> This game came out 2014. No real excuse for not like proper auto saves and checkpoints. It doesn't like it's not trying to like do something with it like um like the original Resident Evil or even like the remake. So um it's not cool with me to be honest.
go. So we're basically going to have a lot of shotgun ammo just in stock. Um, run stuff does show up. So, good second line of defense. I'm still going to use my pistol as primary line of defense because uh, getting those headshots is fucking beautiful. That's... All right, not die this time. And yeah, I'm basically going to be hoarding um, all of these uh, resources to like make bolts until I like really need them. All right, where's that stupid click? Okay, so it only comes up once. I know this guy is going to... Shit. Alright. Um, we have an extra shotgun bullet here, so we might as well use that. Uh, I think I might be coming back here. Turn this stuff up. Oh, this one's opening chests. Uh, open chests all the way to reveal its contents. If the chest is trapped, opening it but only part way will disarm the trap. No idea how that actually works, like in universe, but okay. So we gotta open it enough until we see the bomb. There we go. So you have to like let it do its quick little thing and then shut it. Yeah, we got a frost bolt. Man, this thing is just handing a shotgun ammo left and right. You gotta actually start using it. Alright, so, gonna be super weary about this thing freaking going off again. Okay, we're in the clear. <laughs> the other benefit of uh, killing enemies with the uh, pistol's headshots is, uh, you know they won't be getting back up. You don't have to worry about like burning them or anything like that. If you just go like the pure DPS route in the chest, you do have to worry about that. I don't like where that body is. To be honest. I don't want you guys to get up and blow this thing up. So... Yeah, one of you is definitely alive. Nope. Oh, shit, I was wrong. Maybe it's this guy. Or these guys. Now I'm just being fucking paranoid, apparently. There we go. Damn it. There we go. gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass to hey Corey how's it going man yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass to backtrack and get this stuff but it is a survival horror game so it's gonna be damn well worth the effort to go grab it so there's one here and I believe there's two more uh, shells up ahead over here kind of wish there was a little shortcut I could open my pot category is still on podcast oh shit Thank you for letting me know that. I did not know. The evil in. There we go. Whoops, let me close this out. There we go. Freaking Cory always coming in for the save, like the majestic fucking king he is. Cory's the best. Or he knows he's the best. So if he's if he's ever cocky, you just have to give him a pass on it because he's fucking earned it. It's not even cockiness at that point. It's just knowing the truth. You are a magical bear. <laughs> I 
No, the compliment train's gonna keep it going, Cory. I will never. St oh, fucking mannequin. I see. I already. S oh! Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of insta kill shit around here. All the re more reason why the um, why the checkpoint system in here kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm a very shaky boy whenever I'm playing stuff on uh, mouse and keyboard. Like controller, I can keep my composure a bit more, but like if something happens, I'm just like, Argh! can't help myself. Let's see. That is a lot of blood around here. Syringes. <laughs> Please don't... anything scary. God! That is scary. Grab that. Dip. Let me see if I can set fire. Oh! Almost got me. Shit. I would like to leave. Is she gone? Thank you for stating the thing I found out, Sebastian. You're very helpful. Thankfully, she uh, just dipped, though. <laughs> yeah, I. She. She's kills me plenty of times. I mean, these has a fucking statue on it, like straight up vertically. There we go. Surprised I got that on the first shot. Alright. Mental note. A lot of shotgun ammo. Use it. Oh, this fucking battle. Can't even really use, like, conventional weapons. You, like, just have to burn shit to, um... To kill her. I'm not even, like too scared of like horror movies and stuff but this shit fucking gets to me and the fact it's insta kills is just like I'm good come on come on Did that no I didn't do shit there we go shit um Come over here. Come on. Alright, I need to lead her into traps. Shit. Wrong way. No! Don't have time to... Dude, no, 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 no. Come on. Got stuff to do. Oh! You can't- oh, shit, she can. Shit. Okay. Uh, I need to start at the bottom. Let me see if I can use this body at least. There we go! That actually worked! Oh, shit. Oh, that did not- shit, 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 shit. Nope, nope, I- nope. Okay, so this one you have to- Okay, that's the opposite order, then. Shit. That should count. Oh, yeah, the safe man is so much- Oh, god damn it, no! Torch. Nope. I don't like that. I do not. God damn it. At least with a safe man, the uh, the safe dude, you can just like straight up shoot him. This is just like, yeah, you have to use fire. And I have no idea what caused you to just like straight up sprint for that one.
All right, so let's try that again. There we go. If I can predict where she, what body she's going to come out of, I can do a lot of easy damage. Shit. Gotta get myself ready. There we go. Uh, third game has not been confirmed. I, I hope they make the third game. Ah, uh, shit. I did that too early. Yeah, um, Evil Within 1 sold pretty well from what I remember. Uh, Evil Within 2 did not. And Evil Within 2 is such a fucking great game, so that's it's a damn shame. If I just keep burning bodies, will she just not have a place to spawn from, or...? doing these too early. Oh, okay, so you actually can shoot her, apparently. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know if that's doing shit, but... Zooming on over here. Yep. This is where she got me last time. Oh, shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, you know what? Grenades. Oh, come on. No! <laughs> oh, you gotta be... God, I fucking hate this boss battle. Like, like this entire recent playthrough, I've been having a great time because I'm a little bit more familiar with how it works. I'm upgrading my weapons properly, but... I do not like this boss battle at all. Like, if she was just doing, like, regular damage, fine, I don't care, but... It's just freaking insta-kill central. Since I keep dying, I'm just gonna test the theory how... Uh, shooting her works. Because as far as I know, you have to, um... You have to use fire. Probably be shooting her right now, actually. All right. Spawn already. God damn it. Come in here. Come on. It's it's okay. Let me actually freaking burn you this time. God, the timing on that is so freaking annoying. Oh, 
Oh, God damn it. No, 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 no. There we go. Man, I would be all over the rumors for the third game. I want that third game so bad. But, uh, hey, the Future Force is looking pretty bright now, now that Xbox owns Bethesda. So they're going to be more willing to take, um, take some creative risks in terms of, like, making games that maybe wouldn't necessarily sell well. So, like, Evil Within and Prey in particular are, like, perfect freaking examples for that. So, uh, the chances, chances of Evil Within 3 have... Definitely increased. Since Xbox is just basically going to be trying to add value to their platform. Go home. Go home. Subjects case history cites developmental delays. Indicates issues on communication. Social cognition. Repetitive behaviors. Signs of synesthesia reported. Genealogy suggests increased susceptibility to external stimuli. Pattern adaptiveness. Could you be what I've been searching for all these years? And under my own nose? Unbelievable. There can be no mistake. This one is... compatible. So now we know the spooky guy exists somewhere and he's behind all these experiments like I kind of know the answer so it's kind of like hard to explain what's going on A lot of shotgun ammo still, so oh shit, we can't even kill these. We have to stun them. There we go. Bullets. You really like the Evil Within 2 because of the open world aspects. Um, yeah, I kind of like really like the structure of the Evil Within 2, and it, man, I, I, I'm definitely going to have to like go back and play it. I think I've played it through it like maybe twice or so, two, three times, something like that. But it just feels so much better. Like everything kind of coalesces, and like yeah, those open segments where you're just kind of going around the neighborhood exploring stuff. It, it was. Is it like a really good uh, change of pace? Every everything about that game is so much better than the first. I think once you get on the swing of this first one, it's a lot of fun. But like the first time, I bounce off super fucking hard because it doesn't do a great job of onboarding you, and it's it's way too hard at the beginning. Like I'm definitely having an easier time now because so this is, this is kind of dumb. If you don't upgrade your critical hit on your pistol even once, you can't get he you can't well you can get headshots like you can shoot people in the head, but their heads will like explode. You have to purchase that, and the game does not tell you that at all. It's uh, it's dumb. But if if you do know to upgrade that, then your pistol is freaking Jesus for the entire game. You don't look well. You should. Uh, church floor collapses. No injuries. Witness says. Miracle. Uh, biggest church scandal to date. Floor Cedar Hill Church collapses during renovations. Parishioner says it was a miracle no one was injured. Better care of yourself. And e even the um, the PC version of 2 is really good. Like, it's really well optimized. It runs smooth. Um, this port that I'm playing right now is the Game Pass version, which is technically different than... Um, what is that? It's, oh, that's a... Pyro thing. Me. Pick that up. There we go. So I should probably use this at some point. Um. What was I going to say? Yeah, so like, overall, the original, uh, Evil, Evil Dead. 
Evil Within port. Not great. It, it's lacking some button prompt stuff. Uh, you can't... Technically, you can play this at 60 frames, but it is like... Why is my camera acting up? That is odd. Give me one moment. There we go. Yeah, P uh, PC port, the original PC port, Evil Within 1, not super great. Uh, this version still has a lot of the jankiness in it. Granted, it has some additional features like first person, unlimited ammo if you want to turn it on, and it gives you more sprint by default. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a definitive way to play it. Uh, Evil Within 2, just a damn good PC port all around. And uh, yeah, I love the hospital setting for this. And I think it does a little bit of that in two, like at least when you go back to upgrade and whatnot. But um, they don't really do too much with the nurse. Like it, it feels like this game like tries to do like everything. It, it's like a, um, it's like a jack of all trades, and not necessarily <laughs> most of it pays off. But it's the good jumble of like aesthetics and whatnot. Uh, let's see stock. I not upgrade my Oh no, I can't upgrade my agony bolts. I don't know if I necessarily need that though. Yeah, I'm using my shotgun a lot more, so I should save for damage multipliers. Criticals are super important. Like I'm basically not really using my bolt right now, so Let's not bother upgrading it too much. Only going for like damage multipliers and criticals, accuracy, clips, everything else is pretty damn secondary to me. Uh, let's upgrade the bolt so I can at least carry a little bit more, I guess. And yeah, you know what? We are using explosive bolts, so let's upgrade the damage. I don't think I can upgrade much else. Matches, don't really need to. Hey, that's about it. Like, in a weird way, like, it totally doesn't work that they're just mashing, like, so many, uh, horror tropes and stuff into it. Like, it's, it's like Saw, it's like Resident Evil, which, hey, same director as Resident Evil. I think it's fair that, he can, that, uh, Shinji Mikami can get away with it. Um, it's like, it shouldn't work, because there's so much random shit thrown in there. But in its own way, it's like a one giant homage to, like horror is like a giant amalgamation and it even kind of works into the plot where i'm pretty sure you know the plot like just like everyone's consciousness consciousness is like kind of just, just like coalescing into one another so it makes sense that there's just like so much random shit in here we go that's saved we got a lot of explodey bolts now and how many can i hold now I can hold three, so I don't necessarily have to use that now. Let's reload. Oh yeah, th this definitely has like Matrix vibes to it, with constantly having to go. Uh, or maybe not even that. It's it's um, getting into the machine and going into people's minds. I just, I think I was like aware of that connection, but I wasn't like super like. Consciously making that connection. That's that's a good catch, though. Where is the portal on out of here? It's supposed to be by that sink by default, right? Yeah, even the jag is the same. It's like right in the back of their head. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. Freaking uh, the second game has like this super weird fascination with... Um, with like the the milk like substance and a lot of people just like oh it's all jizz it's like i don't know it, it looks milky to me and it's just got this big old mommy creature i'm just like oh no it's 
Resident Evil 8's tall lady before he was Resident Evil 8's tall lady. What was that I could interact with? Photographs? Where, I can't... I can't even believe that they're making a fourth Matrix, like... I, I really would it really have to go back and rewatch the series, but the Matrix one, like the, the first Matrix, it just had a, a philosophical point to it, and it was just like damn good movie. Um, what the fuck is that thing? And then um, you can you worked on it. Oh yeah, you and um, you and Ish, right? You did um, location work. And, um, I, don't, like, I would have to go back and watch two and three where they just have, like, crazy over the top action sequences, and that's just cool and, like, in its own fucking regard. But, total 180 shift from what the point of the first movie was. That, that's fucking awesome that you guys are gonna have your credits in that. That's, a, that's amazing. Now I can go around bumping, uh, elbows with people, just be like, yeah, my buddy's famous. You were sick for a few days of it and it was rough, but the money was nice. I can imagine. I can't believe that I did all that in San Francisco, too. This thing not. No, I definitely hear stuff. No, okay, so I'm swinging. Oh. I was about to say, did my game just fucking crash? There. What oh. was that sound? I know what the sound was. You were looking at it. It's fucking shit freaking. I haven't really worked on too many um, projects like that. Like nothing big. So just like the logistics of everything are like kind of like super freaking crazy to me. Just like. How do you go around, like, handing out papers and stuff to, like, secure locations? You have to, like, be like, hey, you guys need to shut down, like, this street at this time so we can film. It's just, like, so much work goes into making films. And, um, I guess not, it's, so much of it isn't even necessarily, like, I'm the cinematographer. Let's go film this thing. There, there, there's so many moving parts, and every single person involved in that uh, contributes to making the overall package. Like, without you guys... They wouldn't have a place to fucking film it. They'd be, it'd be it'd be a green screen. That's what they'd be able to secure. So I'm fucking proud of you guys. Oh, it's lunchbox boy <laughs> or safe guy. And if I remember correctly, in the second game, there's like a boss rush of all the bosses from the first game. Um, it's, it's a lot easier in the second game, but you're just like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the freaking grudge girl You're facing safe boy, and it's just it's, it's very cathartic the way it goes down Sebastian 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 that that's me This game is just fucking weird. You basically watch walk the streets of San Francisco, handing out notices to business businesses, letting them know the dates for filming. And, oh damn, I didn't know Ish was an assistant location manager. That's fucking he's basically your boss. Shh tisk tisk, Corey sleeping with the boss. <laughs> That's awesome though. He should be proud of himself. Both of you should be proud. I bet it's probably just cool just even being in the city too, scouting for stuff. Admittedly, as a Bay Area native, um, and even for someone who went to school in San Francisco, I probably don't know as much about the city and like the surrounding neighborhoods and whatnot as one would imagine. Okay, so I can carry three of all of these. Um, we're good for now. Let's use a pistol.
Like, I really like the explosive bolts on here, but a lot of combat takes place up and close and personal, so I don't want to blow myself up. Same place as the photographs. This game still looks... I don't even want to say, like, super semi-decent. It's... It's a 2014 game, but like trying to play this like on a base PS4 or base Xbox One, not even Xbox One S, the base original big fat boy Xbox, uh, Xbox One, this game does not look that great. And like doing up res stuff with the Xbox One X and then obviously the Series S and Xbox Series at, at God damn it, the freaking naming convention is so dumb. But um, yeah, even with that up res stuff, it's still pretty rough around the edges. Oh, I didn't even see that. I mean, that's how they do it in the film industry. Nepotism. <laughs> hey, you gotta get it in when you where you can. I did not realize that was a double entendre, so. But I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna pretend that was completely intentional. Um, I think this is where we... No, this is not where we need to go. There is stuff. Are you fully dead? Or just kind of dead? Oh, I didn't even see that there was a key behind him. I was just being a jackass. Someone's shooting. was about to crack open but now it's like I'm starting to get used to it you seen Kidman no next thing I knew I was here I must have blacked out or the guy turned again kind of surprising they don't bring um, Joseph here back for the sequel um, Inside. out of the three, like, protagonists, um, he's the only one that doesn't. Maybe they'd bring him back for a third one. Another one? And man, this entire freaking sequence, and uh, when I played this originally on the PS4, this was such, this, uh, it was such a fucking hard time. It was, it's so unfairly hard. <laughs> but uh, now I've upgraded properly, playing with a mouse, it should be significantly easier. Headshot city right now. Swing. Yep. The pistol's upgraded. Stuff is easy. Can't hold them off much longer. Another moment. Just keep me covered. I'm doing a pretty good job so far, actually. Oh. Shit. Shit. Damn it. Just run around. I don't got any more ammo. Alright, I need to get some of my bolt game going. Burn. Try to grab as much stuff as I can before we have to dip. Oh, 
And they're all dead now. Oh yeah, Cairo bolts. Let's um talk to that. And we have explosive ones too. Nope, get up. Damn it. I was trying to blow this dude up. Oh, those are insta-kill, actually. I don't need to worry about it. Shit. Get away from me. Get away! Damn it. There's twice as many of them. You've got time to complain. There we go. Uh heal. Shit. There we go. Got more. Oh, shit. Nope. Don't beat him up. There you go, buddy. You can handle yourself. Shit. Damn it. Sprint out of here. There's entirely too many fucking enemies in one spot, by the way. There we go. Killed three loving enemies with a drop of a match. Nice. I didn't even know that was an achievement. Sebastian, let's go. Let's see if I can hold them off. I do want to collect as many. Oh, there's even one right here. Want as much of this as we can afford. Dip. Let's rest for a minute. We can't keep going at this pace. I. I think we've got to get out of this place as fast as we can. <gasps> No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> I think we need to get out of this place. Go. Got some more heals. Let's heal our boy right here. And what kind of survival horror game is it if you don't have a sniper rifle, apparently? Let's equip that. Oh yeah, I still have... I need to use those grenades. I really do. I'm just gonna walk around with it as just as a reminder to myself. Hey, you should probably use it. I am the worst about remembering to use grenades like in basically every single game. Like like if it's like a Halo or Call of Duty where you don't have to equip them. I, I'm generally a little bit better about it, and like in Halo, grenades are like such a foundational strategy of like basically every combat encounter you can think of. Um, but when it's like a, it's a completely separate weapon, you have to you have to like manually equip. I'm just like, oh, I am gonna be garbage with that. Man, I love the upgrade system in this game. It's uh, it's fun. It stops being like super survival horror and more like Resident Evil 4, like action horror pretty quickly. Pretty cool. It's just weird because the sniper should like already be doing that by default. But well, we will upgrade it. See, 
abilities. Sprint time is important, but I think we have enough right now. Shotgun. I, I did get the vaccine. I have the first shot of the uh, Pfizer. So my second dose is due uh, April 9th at 12.15 p.m. at the Safeway on Warm Springs Boulevard. If you want to be super specific. <laughs> um, see, these upgrades aren't really worth it for the uh, crossbow. But, like the individual um, packs, yes, definitely worth it. Explosive bolt, we have a couple of those. Um, I'm feeling fine. The, the first shot, um, the only symptom I got, which it's kind of like the same thing for like any kind of like vaccine a flu shot, whatever, is just my left arm, because I elected to get it in my left arm. It just got sore, like, the next day, like, it didn't really raise it, like, super high without kind of feeling the, the pressure. But aside from that, totally fine. Not an issue at all. Um, I don't know, explosive bolts are already doing pretty good. I kind of want to, I elect to save my resources. I want to be the perfect Millennial and elect not to vote on spending resources. Yeah, hopefully uh, you and Ish can get yours soon. We gotta have some movie nights. Oh, Corey. I, I don't even remember if we ever hugged back in college, but my family, we are very, we are very big huggy family. That That is a must. I need me some Corey hugs in my life. He, he didn't notice me? Oh wait, no, yeah he did, he's coming back. Oh! Shit, they're fucking throwing shit at me now too. There we go. Alright, got my grenade usage out of the way, I can feel a little better about myself. Yeah, they're... Oh, I am so glad you guys are big huggers. <laughs> but yeah, they're... This game is not afraid to toss like a million, uh... I don't know what they're formally called in here. I want to call them zombies for just shorthand. Oh, and that one even has a gun. You're gonna... Yeah, there's a bomb right there. I see it. You're not tricking me. They are hot. Um, oh, because the Molotov. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, I fucking love you, man. You're the best. There we go. Got an axe kill. Another axe. I'm pretty sure this guy over here has a gun, but we're going to try to sprint past. Oh, no, he just has an axe. Some matches. Up this thing. Guess what? Um, chicken behind. Got another axe. Still. Oh fuck! He scared the shit out of me. Oh, that was a double fucking fake out. If I had gone down through here to over here, there would have been another fucking bomb that would have blown me up. So. Good thing I decided to backtrack. Uh, Ish got your new office chair as a super early birthday gift. Ah, oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, my, my girlfriend was making fun. I am dead. Ah, oh, damn it. Gotta do all that all over again. Um, yeah, my girlfriend was making fun of me for having, like, the fucking freaky-ass chair for the longest time that was just too stubborn to uh, replace, but a new office chair goes a long freaking way. Now I don't have as many creaks. Not as squeaky. What, uh, what kind of chair do you get? Pretty nice and comfy? Nice.
Shit. Oh, this guy. Nope. <laughs> Made him burn himself. Oh, it's a lazy boy? Those are hella good. Nice. Oh, yeah. Grenade. There we go. You got anything for me? Yep. Lazy boy stuff's always hella good. Oh. Let's see if I can do this as a trick. Nope. I don't even know what the fuck that was. Holy shit. Regenerate health. Shit. No reason to get so heat. Ha ha ha. I love you so much, Corey. There we go. You just try to freaking kick me. Definitely took more of a beating this time. Um, do I have any more? Yes. Get all the way back up. Because these bombs are... There we go. Got that one. And if I mess up on this one, I'll have a lot less health, but... I will still... Oh. Is it not here? Huh. It despawned it, I guess. Load. Yeah, this game has a big checkpoint issue. Not a not a fan of that. Second one's a lot better about that. Oh shit. So basically wherever those are, don't stand there. But we can remedy that issue by There we go. We won't stand a chance if we don't take out those other guns. I have figured that out pretty quick, my man. Don't know why shooting the individual dudes drops the whole system, but I am not complaining. See the bomb over there. I just wanted to get that. Okay, need a better angle on that. There we go. Oh shit. At least we got it. Oh fuck, are they? They are sneaking up behind. They're not coming from over there, but there are a lot over there. Oh, <laughs> I will take it. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. God, I, w I love the way, like, an initial shot will just, like, show, like, half their face still there. It's fucking gnarly. Damn it. Fucking asshole just kicked me. There we go. Oh, someone's throwing stuff at me. Ooh. It's this guy. Out of I am out. Shit. Oh 
Oh shit. Sorry, Joseph. Gotta use you. Damn it. <laughs> I need to stop blowing myself up. Did you really have to fall down right here? Let me help you up, buddy. You okay? Go, sweet kill. Save Joseph from falling off a ledge. Would not have. Would, I, that's never happened to me. I would not have had to have done that if. He did not elect to uh, fall off. Shit. Oh, really? Damn it. Damn it. Um. Yep, I can heal you, buddy. You you do the work for me. I don't want to waste my ammo. There we go. I think there's health right there too. I don't think he. Yeah, still alive. Burn. Maybe I should start investing in more, more matches. I'm definitely using them a lot more. But even compared to Res, like you get a lot of ammo in Resident Evil 4 if you're playing like even semi-conservatively. Um, I feel like there's definitely more instances here where you're like constantly starved for resources. Oh shit! Let's get that up. Uh, Got that torch. Oh, there's a thingy right here. Oh wait, you know what? Back the fuck up because um let's heal first. Because <laughs> if I go to do that right now and I fuck up, I'm just totally dead. I don't want to be totally dead. Uh, Joseph can handle himself. He can't, like, permanently die. Boy's got to learn to defend himself. Shit. One shit. Focus on me. It's harder for me to aim that way. Oh god damn it. Okay, no pistol ammo. Plenty of shotgun. Damn it. And like I could be crafting a lot more arrows, but no point to do so when we're already getting other natural ammo. Bird. Oh, did that match not count? Dude, you're on fire. You should be, like, dead. Okay, more pistol ammo. That's good.
Alright, so he's shooting right around there, but I don't have an angle, so I gotta... Right about here? I gotta time this right. There we go. Yeah, no idea why it fucking suddenly explodes. Shit. Okay, um, let's bait you. And then do that. What the hell? Why is that not exploding? Come on, dude. I don't have that much ammo. This is probably gonna go poorly. Damn it! Ah, fucking! Please don't tell me I have to do this entire fucking section all over again. Please tell me. I... Okay, they're all down. Okay, that's at least good. If I had to do that whole fucking thing over again, I probably would... Uh, that would have been fucking annoying. All right, let's do this again. We gotta bait him. Is that it? You good? There we go. Easier than the first time. It could be full of them. I'm trying to heal you, dude. Don't don't walk away. Stopped at the top. Let's look for another way out. That's a freaking body just right there blocking it. Another diary entry. Or a journal. It's not a diary, it's a fucking journal. Uh, May 17, 2006. Eight months since Meyer and I were married, and you, little li Lily, are the result of our love. I can't wait for two months to pass so I can finally meet you. But I must admit, I am scared. I face countless dangers in my job, but knowing that I'm going to be a dad is the scariest of thing of all. I promise to love you and protect you with every fiber of my being as long as I am in this world. I will enter this stage of my life the same way I do every important task, with a full heart and the desire to do the best that I can. Just know that your mother and I love you already and cannot wait to welcome you into this sometimes harsh world. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> the dots are very important. So, married Myra has a daughter named Lily. And he's a cop, so, you know, fucking a cab. All cops are bastards. Right. Uh, do we have any key? No. No keys. On our amount of keys, we don't have a high key amount. We have a low key amount. Quite mis mischievous, that is. Mischievous, mischievous. One of those. Alright. Weapons. Uh, let's get that critical up on the shotgun. I think that's about all we can really afford. Anything important that I, like, need at that least. Stock. Matches, yes, because that's starting to become a thing. Now, like some of the stuff that's like super low points, I might as well. Like 500 is fucking nothing in the grand scheme of things.
probably increase the fucking syringe health thing, though. That's... Note to self, increase that next. Burn that. Is it gonna open yet? There we go. Yeah, this has like gigantic frickin' Matrix vibes to it. Holy down for it. Got more syringes. Don't need syringes if we don't get hit. Kinda heat bag. Do you think Kidman is okay? I don't like that they used her as bait. Almost like someone's toying with us. You okay, dude? Hang in there. Just yeah, being a drug, he's shooting up fucking syringes and shit. This ain't no vaccine. This is my fucking green juice. This is my brain juice. I really don't remember what they call it. I think it's gel. Looks like that guy got ahead of himself. No, that's not... There are so many explosions in this game. I don't know why there's so many explosions, but there are. Joseph. It's a real cliffhanger, that one. Alright, so we basically just gotta defend our boy, Joseph. Um, mainly with a sniper, I'm guessing. Hey, you... Joseph, where are you? There they are. One. Two. He's now safe. You okay? Yeah, I, I deserve a boo for that one, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, how am I doing on stuff? Ha ha ha, Rocky situation. I see what you did there. <laughs> huh? Just a matter of time. Don't you have your own gun? Why would you have to go for Sebastian's? What the fuck? Alright, so back to some... Why don't we just kick the plank over? Cup. They wouldn't be able to follow Let's us. Go. The plank we just put there. Kick that shit down. Nope, we are too dumb for that. <laughs> uh, makes no sense, but I kind of love it. Just meet them all head on. Let's do it. Who the hell is throwing shit at me? How are these not connecting? Oh, now they're throwing grenades. As, as zombies do. As one does. They are constantly throwing shit.
They're really trying to bury the hatchet over here. Oh, I just teleported. Joseph, are you all right? I... No. <laughs> I... Yeah. At least my boy over here is looking fucking dapper as shit. Look at him with his fucking vest and gloves. Dressed to kill, am I right? Oh, brain juice. There's another thing up here, actually. Oh, shotgun ammo. Hell yeah. Ammo. It said you can upgrade the uh, capacity of the pistol to like you see you have more bullets in your clip. This is a revolver. I don't know how that's supposed to this looks work. Like some kind of a marketplace. It looks deserted, just like everywhere else. We gotta keep moving. Pistol ammo. That is a chest. Is there a bomb? Yes. But we have to let it beep and then... There we go. No. It also didn't help that for whatever reason I did not pick up on the fact that you should be smashing crates uh, my, on my first playthrough. So I was I was definitely much more starved for stuff than you're supposed to be. You really got to go around and just smash shit to smash shit. Oh, recording. Father was a stern man, proud, and I thought intelligent. But he was also pious, a believer. Somehow he always supported the church no matter what the newspaper said. He waved away the allegations as if they were infallible. I think I smell those things. The wretched, the they might vermin, be nearby. the stern. All were taken in by that church. They were promised salvation and eternal life. But there's nothing they could promise that I couldn't take away. That's fucked up. Shouldn't do that. See, we don't need to put that again. Very useful for these villagers to be hiding brain juice in all these crates. And just ammo that they're not even using. Like, some enemies can use, like, pistols. I haven't... I guess, like, some one can even have, like, a sniper. But I haven't seen any villagers using, like, shotguns, so... Very considerate of them to just leave this laying around. Man, there's a lot of stuff around here. But as one should know, in basically any video game, but especially survival horror, even if it's like on the action-y side, if you're getting a lot of resources for apparently no reason, you probably got a boss battle coming up. So I'm not going to spoil events that are coming up soon. But I have been grabbing a lot of resources, so... Just say... Don't turn into a zombie again. Where do you suppose we are? More like when? This architecture seems straight out of the Middle Ages. Yeah, but there's electricity. Elevators. This place can't be real. As it's if like anything we've seen is real. Up memories. Whoa, are we stumbling onto what is actually going on? What? 
why none of this makes sense. Spent a lot of time with Joseph in this game. I really wish they would have brought him back. Is this what it was like, Seb? After the accident? Well, I never put a gun to my head. No, of course not. Just quietly sank into a bottle. You talking shit, son? We can't all be perfect. It never affected my work. But hey, you read the IA report. You know I didn't report you because I was worried about your work, Sebastian. Oh, you snitch. What else is there? Way to go. I thought you were my friend. We don't have time for this. I need my partner here. I'm counting on you. You fucking snitch of a partner, apparently. All cops are bastards, but that's a particularly bastard-like move right there, Joseph. I don't know if I want you to return anymore. I rescind my previous opinion. It's all symbols. Some kind of cult. Could be useful. I think I'm okay. We should probably get going. I don't like you anymore, Joseph. Fuck your dapper fucking attire. Sorry, Joseph got to teleport to hospital land so I can upgrade. Alright, I don't think I have any keys. Nope. Apparently I'm not that smart. Alright. Oh, damn, we don't even have that much to spend. I could have sworn I had way more. I guess not. Maximum sprint time. Um, I really need to get that syringe recovery up. I'm gonna save. Save my brain goop. Okay, let's just dive back in. Over here. Hold on a minute. Let me climb up here and see if I can get a look ahead. I'm the one with the sniper. I should really be the one doing that, Joseph. Oh, nope. Apparently, Joseph's about to get one too. You all right? Yeah. Someone's shooting. It is Kid hey, Man David. with the Kid Man. I wouldn't trust that dead, well, dead body. You should probably kick it off the edge. What I found seems to be in working condition. You haven't even inspected it. You just grabbed it. That is like the worst fucking inspection I've ever seen, my dude. How am I supposed to trust that? I'm gonna circle back, see if there's any collectibles. Resources. Nope. Nothing? I don't believe that. There's probably a hidden statue around here, I'm just not seeing. 
Whatever. Oh shit, another sniper. Oh shit. Fairly accurate. I thought you were supposed to be covering me. You're not even looking. You're looking at- You suck, Joseph. You suck so fucking bad. Apparently that's where I gotta go. Oh! Joseph's actually being- Oh shit. Damn it, this thing is slowing me down by like a lot. There we go. All headshots. At least Joseph's accurate when he decides he wants to help. Takes him a freaking million years though. Oh, there's a bolt. Explosive one. Do I have any heals? I have a medical kit. Um, two syringes. I should probably just use, um, should probably just heal. Get that out of the way. Because once you do so, you get all distorted and you can't do anything. So, not viable to use that in the middle of battle at all. Not doing a super good job of it. You any are any of you guys alive? Oop, shotgun time, apparently. What are you opening? Oh. <laughs> You got smashed. What you get? Oh shit. Damn it. Let's see if I can burn these. Nope. Damn it. Oh. That did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Finish them off. Burn. Nope. That's not to finish it off. Here. Oh, where are you running to? Are you dead? There we go. But oh, there's another one. Damn it. Oh, what if we burn? You can burn this body. Oh, come on, come on. Let me let me do this. Wait, there's something here. Damn it. He's not even doing that much damage, so I'm kind of chill with taking some of these hits. relatively well. I remember that being so much harder. I'll look for another route. Let's meet up by the horse statue there. By the horsey. This I can way. do that. Took out both guardians before the church. I guess I could have made a sprint for it. I did not do Graveyard note, Walt. I've gone to get Donna back. I saw Yeah. I saw how to get into the wolf's den and I'm getting her back. I won't let her be a sacrifice. Don't follow. Just stay and watch the family. I'll bring her back, Daniel. Wait, there was something about a horse in that house back there. 
Let me see what I wrote. Is it a secret passage? Where did you see a note about that? I didn't I see jack down. shit. I guess so. I'm not going down there yet. I guess. Oh. Maybe I don't have a choice. I do not have a choice. But I can get some more stuff. Syringe. What else could I get if I don't do a syringe, though? I really should do the syringe, though. Not even, like, that much, to be honest. Like, in order to get, like, the double effect, I have to, like, super invest in it. Okay, let's, let's, let's stick with the weapons. That's what we're using. See the damage multiplier on the handgun. Dude, I want the critical or damage multiplier. Let's go with the critical. I am playing I am playing super aggressively this playthrough. Like fuck our health, fuck sprinting, fuck uh, everything else. We are we're here to mess shit up. I am so down for. I have too many safe slots. So let's just reuse some old ones. Am I already down the hole? Guess we're good. A lot of dead bodies, though. Yep, still alive. <laughs> Guess not. I just punched it. I don't think that was a possessed dude or whatever. Kind of puzzle. Um, let's just say three, five, nine, seven. So these are crossed off, and then seven's different. Five, nine. Are these even in the right spot? So that's yes. This is three. That's five. Okay, that should be nine and seven, right? So this one can't be lifted, and there's no thing to lift it, which means um, the check mark has to be what this is, which means down. So five also needs to be down. What do you make of this writing? Doesn't mean anything to me, should it? Now hold on a second, I jotted something down earlier. This one we have to drop. It seems the sacrifices need to be lowered onto the proper altars, and the safe way to him will be open. 
And this one is the odd one out. This one has to be the only one up. That should be safe now, right? Don't stab me, please don't fucking stab me. Don't stab me. <laughs> cool. You get stabbed. It seems that was well, we're not dead, so. Yeah, I would say so. Please do not freaking be alive. I will stomp you. I also. No, I don't have shotgun ammo. <laughs> I will shoot you. <laughs> that is a thing that's actually turning to look at me. That is, uh, you got no limbs, dude. Uh, cemetery lab note number one and it, it had to have been God's will that, that these two twin orphans survived they were baptized and given medicine Nguyen and his brother Zen quickly recovered but just as quickly did their aberration progress of course they are twins but for some reason their growth patterns exhibit in identical values 12 hours after serum administer Nguyen some of some amount some amount that's the same thing uh, body temperature elevation pain in lower extremities evidence 24 hours after serum administered um a little bit higher results uh, vital signs stabilized sleeping in short intervals more uh, semi-conscious speaking to an imaginary person uh, and then agitated administering sedative those are twins are those the two twins i just killed Oh, they are! The freaking people, the dudes in the, uh, in the, uh, cemetery. That's a big old spinal cord, that's a big old brain. They killed the twins. Kinda weird seeing it after the fact versus before. That is a dog. That is a big dog. I think I hear the dog too growling. Hey, doggy. I love you, doggy. I know you're going to be a murder machine, but I love you regardless. Anything over here? Nope. That is... That opened the cage, didn't it? Uh, something's gonna fucking. S no, the cage is still down. Are you good? Are we not? Can you get it open? He can though. I don't remember much about this game. Yep. There we go. Not his glasses. As a nasty looking dog. Damn it. I'll have missed. Shit, let's, um, we can do some traps. Uh, nope. He goes past them too fast. Won't work. 
Come on. I know you're there. Just pop out. Oh, that doesn't even stop the freaking charge? Okay, that sucks. Okay. I don't have any damaging stuff. Let's do this. Damn it. I need shit to shoot you with. Uh, this is not going good. And he just like disappears while he's in there too. What kind of... I... Pounces on me, I get fucking obliterated into a fucking torso. Fuck you, zombie, dog, you suck. Oh, so you can still. Damn it. No, you are. Next to me, that is... Shit, we gotta heal. Out of ammo. Going down, you did good. Joseph, glasses back there. Okay, Velma. Fuck. Apparently we gotta go back and get it. Sorry, Joseph. We're leaving. We can't leave. Damn it. Alright, we got sniper ammo. We'll use that. Where are the glasses? All the way over there. Sebastian, I'll draw it away so you can search. Okay. Joseph's glasses. Can you just like kill this thing though? Probably get a lot of resources for it, I imagine. Damn it. Shit. I'm really pushing my luck here. Come and get me. That's it. I gotta freaking heal, but it's gonna smack me. Damn it. There's gotta be something for like straight up killing it. There we go. I think that's it. There we go. Yep. Bad dog. That was worth it.
Went through most of our stuff, but it was worth it. It's not just about being unable to see. It's about feeling normal. What the it's fuck? Right. Let's focus. We got to be very practical here. It's like, can we put aside the freaking our inner? I don't even want to say inner turmoils. It's just like we can get a therapist after. Right now, we need you to see so we can fucking survive, my dude. I'm all here for fucking therapy and people bettering themselves and feeling fit in society and being welcomed, but. We need to survive. That, that probably takes a little bit more of a precedent. Chapter 6, clear. Save. Uh, we gotta reuse a bunch of older ones because I used all of them. Next chapter. Barbed wire traps thrown out by the safe headed creature can be. Nope, oh, I loaded too fast. <laughs> oh well. Apparently, we're gonna fight the safe headed creature soon if we're getting a tutorial for it. Got more matches. I don't have shit for ammo. That sounded close. There's Leslie and Kidman. Uh, map fragment 13. Oh, so they don't even go necessarily go in like sequential order, I guess. I would have assumed that they would have. I guess not. Any resources I missed? There we go. Hey, Joseph. You still with me? Sebastian, you ever had the urge to just jump when you're on a high place <coughs> or the subway rolls by? Imagine if you had that urge for a minute straight, then two minutes. You fought it off three times now, Joseph. You're learning to stop it. I don't not think listening. he's not talking about turning into a zombie. I'm about stopping it, Seb. I'm worried about not wanting to stop it. Some part of me wants to turn. I don't know why. And I can't reason it away. It's deeper than that. It's like instinct, and it's getting stronger. Hold on. Let me inject my fucking stimmy into you. Here's your fourteen hundred bucks. You can survive now. And now we're just floating. I don't remember most shit about this game because it's so fucking out there. It's so random. Uh, quick little point before we get back into the uh, gameplay. Um... For a second there, I thought they were going to get very serious and talk about, like, people's, um, mental health, where, um, not, not his name, not Kim, Joseph, he's talking about, because he already teased at it, not, that's what I'm looking for, they already brought it up with where he's trying to steal Sebastian's gun and, and uh, kill himself. I thought that was going to be, like, a very deep personal moment where he's just like, look, I've been struggling with this in real life. Uh, it's obviously being exacerbated by the conditions that they're in right now. 
But um, I think it diluted its point a little bit by being like, oh, yeah, no, I totally wasn't talking about like suicide in, in the real world. This is just totally about turning within this whatever fucking world spoilers, whatever. I don't, I don't give a shit right now. Um, obviously, this game came out in 2014. People are getting more aware as time goes by. But this is a subject um, specifically near and dear to me. So, uh Wish it was maybe handled with a little bit more care. All right, gameplay. Oh, we don't have barrels anymore. We have urns. Uh, good heal. Get it out of the way. Hang around the corners. Oh, yes. Brain goop. Get you. Get you. Get you. Get you. Let's leave I somewhere around here. For my partners. Another syringe. Another stimmy. Right from Papa Biden. And there's a glowy over there. Let's see. I think after this game, we might as well just jump straight into Evil Within 2. Um, probably going to take a couple more streams to get through it. This game's actually surprisingly on the longer side, if I remember correctly. It's like maybe at least like four, 12, 14 hours, something like that. Um, especially if you don't know what you're doing, but I have a little bit more of an idea what I'm doing nowadays with it. This would be my third time playing it to completion, but like probably fifth time playing it total. Um, after that, the plan is, as I am legally obligated, because I said I would do it if I reached... Uh, 200 followers on Twitter before my birthday that I would stream Kingdom Hearts. Um, I'm going to wait for the PC version to be out though. Um, so that will be coming once that's available on the Epic Game Store because that just happens to be what it's being released on. There we go. Oh! I love getting these freaking headshots, though. That didn't do anything. God, they have to be, like, right next to it. Like, basically right on top, but, you know, I don't want to get hit. Nope, oh, I have to go inside to grab it. Apparently. Let's see, pistol and a door. What are you tapping on, dude? Looks loose. Old lithograph. This lithograph was pried from a stone door, where it seems to have been used as a key. Very fucking absurd. Oh. Actually opening. But what's over here? Oh. That's where story's happening. Let's not go over there yet. Or maybe... No, that's probably where the story's happening. <laughs> I'm just here to grab shit. Slammo. We are freaking loaded on this ammo now. Catacomb note. Help. The metallic pounding. He's coming. I run, but he follows. Help, God. Help, 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 help. 
Uh, we are gonna fight the safe guy soon. As evidenced by the safe. And there's a key. I have never been able to find all of them just naturally. And I miss, like, such a giant portion. Um, I kind of appreciate the way that Evil Within 2 handles collectibles, where you can kind of, like, track them. I just generally prefer it when games do that versus, like, super uh, hidden. Oh, that shit. is... Did he just fucking kill himself? I think he did. Got some brain jelly. Let's break this. Fits. Apparently it does. Alright, so we can go in either direction. But there is a uh, portal back to the hospital. Lily's birth announcement. We welcome with love Lily Lynn Castellanos, uh, born July 18th, 2006, 9.56 a.m., 7 pounds, 3 ounces, 14 inches. Proud parents, Sebastian and Myra Castellanos. Catacombs found beneath parish. Pastor says, nothing to lose sleep over. Who took care of this place? Uh, workmen repairing collapsed floor discover man-made passages beneath Cedar Hill Church. Claim they saw mummies. Parish denies access to historians, claiming sacrilege. Okay, I see. We don't have any keys, right? Oh, we, no. Yeah, we do have one. Let's see. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's uh blinding stuff. Nice. That will allow us to insta kill some enemies. Uh, well, it blinds them and then you have to do the stealth thing on them. But insta kill basically. Alright, weapons. Damage multiplier, critical. Um, let's increase damage with the handgun. Oh yeah. Want the most out of my bullets. Right, save, accept. Let's go. Um, let's go right since we're right here. But I am going to use a quick little bathroom break. I will be right back. Just a moment.
right, and we are back. Quick little pee break. What I get for drinking so much freaking water. <laughs> Good to drink water, though. You could always be drinking water. That is a crap. Well, it's disassembled. There's a chain in one. It's not going to fall over if I grab this, right? Cool. <laughs> Wait, how far up does that go? Can I use it to get up there? I want to test that. That cockroach, that sycophant, living off me, <laughs> feeding off my work. I'll have to figure out how we got the combination to my safe. But there's no time for that now. I'm so close. No one can ever have that data. It is mine. My only way. Whoever opens that safe next had better be ready to pay the price. Alright. But uh, as we will see shortly, the uh, the safe man, uh, whatever you, the official name is, uh, it's pretty obviously like a riff on... Um, it's a riff on Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. Please don't just let this be a ceiling. I do not want to be squished. Pretty sure there's gonna be something up here, right? No. No hidden statue? Or a key? Damn, I could have. Oh! There it is! Fucking knew it. Can't trick me. Well, you can trick me most of the time, but not this time. Oh. Where do I go? Oh, shoot these things. The good thing I wasn't standing below when I did that. Oh shit. There's a other thingy up there. Do these things not be critical? That is odd. I don't like that. That's the case. Be a trap. Yep. Most definitely a trap. Of some variety. You are alive. Uh, we can squish you via over here to save some ammo. We gotta kite you for that, though. Come on, buddy. Chop, chop. There we go. Save some ammo. Hell yeah. We got stuff from it. Let's see. Oh shit. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. Come on. Let's. We're going on, a, going on to a fucking field trip. Everyone into the bus. 
the murder bus. Oh shit, there's way more of you. I am not wasting that much ammo. Come on, kites. Guys, come over here. There we go. Nope. Please tell me I got his legs. There we go. Oh, they're all stuck up top too. That's freaking gnarly. Anything else you guys dropped? Nope. Is there anything in this room you came from? Fucking ammo. There nothing. Oh, that is poison. Don't go there. Button pressing action. Can't see what's going on down here. Shit. Let's go back up. There we go. Let me get that brain goop. That's a squishy thing over there. Let's see if I can stealth this guy. No, he can't. Really? No, fuck it. Let's do this. If you want to play like that? We got another one of those, uh, not statue, fucking rock carvings. You see a lot of cheek movements, because I got wisdom teeth coming in, and it sucks. Have you forgotten something? No. I don't think so. Oh yeah, I need to be using um, these uh, stun things, but I don't know if they'll even work on that enemy, that enemy type I'm coming up against. Hella pistol ammo though. have that many points. But I will take the upgraded handgun ammunition. Let's go grab some more. Which was over here. Nice. Fuck. 
I've never noticed this before. Oh, I thought it'd be like to somewhere different. Oh, we know I didn't save. Shit. That's not good. Missing Chris Taylor. Construction foreman disappeared while overseeing repairs on a fallen church floor. Repairs were nearly completed, so it is unlikely he fell. Suspected. Let's save. Use an older slot. Good to go. Okay, so we gotta go get it from this side now. That is poisonous gas, I'm assuming. Hence the uh, skull and bones. Uh, what is that? S contamination hazard? That's some kind of hazard. Inhalation hazard. Fuck, I could have sworn I saw like a wire and I walked towards it anyway. Let me see if um, this actually works against them or not. Oh no, fuck, you can't, um, fuck, you can't do stealth kills against these guys. I think it. One, two. At least we got our resources back, so it's not uh, sunk cost or anything. Let's use some pistol ammo though, so we can come back and grab that. I don't like that closing on me though. Really? Fucking insta kill shit like that, man. It's fucking annoying. Especially if you're gonna do that, have some really fucking good checkpoints, because otherwise that's really. I don't think that's good to game design. I think that's really shitty. That's a really shitty thing to do to players. <laughs> Granted, I'm not like super far, but. Not cool regardless. So many fucking insta deaths. So we gotta go do that all over again. See if I can get some headshots with this, actually. There, okay, so we still can get headshots. How's about you? Shit. Come on, buddy. Why are these shots missing? Like, the, the reticule's like fully on them. Don't understand. I'd much rather spend my shotgun ammo on this because it's like two shots to get it. Uh, versus like freaking five pistol shots. I 
go. Got an axe. Pretty sure we have to go down that way. There we go. Now we can go that way. It's going to be a lot easier now. What the f That was just the lighting freaking out. Damn, hell of resources down here too. Don't know what's up with this. There's a bomb right behind it. That is the glow, right? Yeah. There we go. You should probably even just stop fucking with those, because... Why you do that? Don't fucking move. Stay there, Mr. Safe. Don't do anything. Let me guess, it's gonna spawn and close this thing on me, right? Yeah. And now there's poison gas everywhere. That sucks. On. All right, lowered it a little bit. Gotta keep going. Come on. Anything for me? Nope. Close it. There we go. Really, I would really like to use these blinding ones, but it doesn't work on these guys. Some gel. Shit, there is a lot of you. Um, let's do this. Or you know what? Even better. Let's do this. There we go. I haven't used grenades in forever. So, it's a damn good time to use it. Oh, we got a grenade for doing that, too? Nice. Oh, <laughs> that one was close. Alright, right or left? Um... Don't know. I want to go the wrong way first. So, I'm guessing this way. And there's got to be like a freaking statue in one of these things, right? Maybe up top. Maybe... 
That's where I would have probably hit one. So we gotta close off our entrance. Almost fucking ran into that. <laughs> there, I I am right here. I would like to disarm this without touching it. There we go. Now it was fucking close. Let's do this shit. Or no, can I burn you? There we go. God, I fucking hate these things. I don't trust either of you, but let's burn. And none of you are dropping anything. That's rude. Let's open this up. Is that gel in there? It is. I can get in on there from the other... Oh! And there's a freaking... statue. I need to get to the other side, though. Gotta remember to uh, get over there. Please tell me there's... There's not like another entrance over here, is there? No, okay. I'm probably going to forget to go get that stuff, but I'm going to try my damn best not to. Oh, got another thingy. Wait, what about... Okay, so... I came from over there, so the thing's gotta... Gotta be an entrance, right? Where the heck do I go to get that thingy? Maybe it's going to be down there. The worrying type, I see. Yep. No keys, right? Yep, no keys. I don't even have that much. I'm just going to save it. Right, let's go back. Actually, you know what? More. I feel like being a paranoid, paranoid person right now. Wait, what? Where was the? Is there another door over here? Okay, here it is. I was about to say, did I lose the their entrance? I spent a bullet to get that freaking maiden open, so very reluctant to uh, leave that stuff behind. I 
Okay. That's where I came from. Here's this stuff. There's like another place I can get to it from over there. Thought maybe I could do that. Oh, this is gonna bother me so much if I completely miss this thing. There's no other entrances, right? If I go over here, can't do anything. Like, this is locked off. So if I already screwed up, then I already screwed up. But I don't think I did. It's gonna drive me insane. Let's put this last one in, I guess. Can I even use this thing? It's not. Yeah, I'm totally off base to grab that thing. There's no way. Oh, you know what? No. Shit. I just totally remembered how I could go back to get that. I can go through the freaking... Here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna be stubborn. I'm gonna be a stubborn jackass about this. Um... Uh. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think about it, especially when I accidentally walked through the main entrance. There should be a thing in there. So, like, it should have opened like some other pathway. So we go in through the beginning of this entire adventure, sidetrack, fucking whatever you want to call it, side quest. Go back through all of this. Let's double check that I did not miss anything. This is where we crushed everyone. We got all the stuff. Not saying secret doors or anything, right? chair. There's nothing else behind here. There was a bomb. There's the freaking safe. Uh, I guess I forgot about that. We can't really open this, can we? Damn. I really don't know what I missed then. Okay, no. Because we can't backtrack through the other entrance either, because that's completely, um... That's blocked off. You can't go backwards. I feel very cheated. Like, you, you, you would have had to have known about that beforehand. Because you can't backtrack to it. Alright, so one... Just and on. two... One quick second, gotta text somebody something. And these are, if you step on these, I believe you get snagged. <laughs> Why is he banging himself? Whoops. 
Press space repeatedly. Run. So now we have to run towards him. Not sure if I'm necessarily a fan of that. What's this fucking crash ban? No, oh, God. Say what the fuck is this Crash Bandicoot shit going on? <laughs> You're not even running from a boulder. You have to run past this thing and not get snagged, and then you just die. Now we gotta sit through this whole thing just to do it again. Guys, the checkpoints in this game aren't great. I'm playing with a keyboard, so movement isn't to the same exact degree as um, if you're playing with the controller. Nope, no analog. It's all digital, baby. Remember the fucking layout for these things. Oh shit. Run, dude. Leslie, you're safe. Where's Kid? Kid. Kidman? Is she here too? Kid. Kid. Is she alright? Is she alright? Alright? Stand back. I'll get it open. Alright, so that is a lot of saves. I do not like that. That's gas over there. Can't open that. Can't open that. Oh, duh. We can't even keep that open? Apparently not. We need uh, Leslie for that. Okay, so where? Where do I go? Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. We need to get Leslie out. <laughs> And then we can go do stuff. That's my bad. My B. Uh, uh, you open? I'm going, I'm going. Done to you, buddy. Let's see if this even works. No. <laughs> Shit. There we go. It's just all freaking goopy in there. Holy shit. Get this gas taken care of. Some explosives. We need. Can we not grab that prematurely? We have to go back for it. Let's see if I can do this real quick. 
There we go. Run! There we go. Got stuff for me. Bring goop. He's already respawning. Can't even see where I'm going. At least that's pausing the timer while we're in uh, non-controllable moments. So that's something. Talking ammo. There we go. <laughs> oh, just so you can like respawn behind us. It's a good thing I upgraded my pistol. There we go. Alright, how do we get the fuck out over here? I, I literally can't even move during that because it's just so fucking stuttery. Alright, now we have to go back for the thing that we already saw. Um, backtrack a bit. And it's nice and glowing, too. How useful. Um, two, three, four. Damn it. Give me the goop. Something here. Gotta keep an eye out. Shit. There we go. It's already respawning. He's fucking relentless. There we go. Right over there. Come on. There we go. Escaped for the moment. Oh no, it sounds like he just freaking killed himself again so he can respawn elsewhere. Uh, yep. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? That's... I mean, he literally did that to himself, so I doubt that's going to keep him Finally. gone for long. At least for, like, this segment, I guess, but... Yeah. Let's see, I've got sniper ammo. Gotta be something over here, too, right? Escape the keeper beneath the catacombs. I did do that. Oh, this is where Leslie came in from. Uh, 
I love that the, um, I'm not even the architecture, just like the way everything is designed in this game, like, for how people would actually use it, it makes no sense. But that's totally the fucking point of this game. So I forgive it. It is kind of, it's kind of interesting keeping an eye out for that kind of stuff in like other games that are supposed to be realistic. But realistic is not this game's fucking uh, aesthetic whatsoever. The less logical, the better for here. All right, we beat that chapter. Uh, we can keep going for a little bit. I was originally only going to do like five to seven, but I'm having a good time. Um, I can overwrite that one, I guess. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Maybe we'll go until about 8 p.m., um, which for me is about an hour. <sighs> hey, Bandit. Bandit being my kitty cat. Let's see if there's anything behind us. Um not appear so. So these guys we can't blind even though we have a bunch of blinding stuff ammunition. Let's do this. That didn't kill you? What the fuck? Oh god damn it. Really? Okay. I still see you pulsating, I don't trust that. Go. I can probably go pick up that um, explosive, try to reuse it. You can't stealth these guys, which sucks. That's my bomb. Pretty sure you can. Fucking bats, god damn it. Oh! I hit a rat with it? <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Sorry, little dude. Probably didn't deserve that. Oh! Now, I'm trying to go over. Okay, just keep kicking it away so we can eat. I want... Sebastian, that's not what I'm trying to do, my guy. I'm trying to break this stuff so we can... There we go. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. One. Sniper is very good at taking these guys out, but I got no more sniper ammo, so uh, shit out of luck on that. Is that a statue on this thing that's coming down towards me? God, this game is obsessed with frickin' doing this. Got a key. It's 
something that's breaking stuff up there. The fuck? Oh, that's all automatic stuff, too. Alright, so we gotta wait for a break. These things. Probably grab some of those. One. Run. Uh, do little baby steps. A lot of this is probably just a high, like, loading times, but obviously I'm on superior hardware than the base uh, PS4, so a lot of it's showing its age for being designed for uh, weaker hardware. Specifically the hard drive. ...observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved, like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Is that supposed delicious? What the fuck? Okay, dude. Um, is that the creatures I've been running into? Because they have two heads, or I don't understand what's going on. No, oh, there's a thing right here. Oh shit! Thanks, man. What the fuck? Oh, those are. Little babies. Get the baby. Take the babies. <laughs> That's just so dumb. Not even all of them are trying to kill me? Some of them are just trying to vibe? No. It's so gross. I feel like there's still one somewhere. I can hear. Yeah, it's so fucking creepy. Ugh, space bar to win, apparently. be going over there, but what's over here? Ammo. Whoops. Oh, more babies. Bye-bye, babies. Oh, these are like the twin-headed ones, just... They're not even... They don't even look like babies, they're just... Like, super shrunken down versions. Sorry, Mr. Mr. Rat, you were f just floating. Not even in the water, just floating in fucking space. Okay. Can't stealth you, so...
Too many babies. Let's see if we can light you on fire. Oh, you can just walk on him. You don't even have to kick him. Step on the babies. <laughs> what the fuck? More saving, uh, or trying to buy deep, trying to be diegetic about our loading. That's probably not a right usage of the word diegetic. I went to film school, I know what it means. Just using it where I shouldn't. It's hiding loading times. That's all that freaking sidling past tight corridors ever does in games. You can argue, like, yes, it's a pacing thing, but it's primarily there to hide loading. Getting a decent amount of brain goop. I'm kind of itching to just fight some regular ass freaking uh, Zambino dudes, to be honest. I want my pistol to have some glory. Cave note. I went in too deep and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times that it was only a little further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. This door has to lead outside. The plate I found looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but which way does it go? 50-50 odds, and I have been here pacing for what feels like an eternity, unable to make the simplest choice. Sophia, if I make it out there... I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you were right, and I'll never let you go. Well, we can guess from this note that, um... That didn't go very well. <laughs> oh no! Is she alive? Definitely not anymore. Sorry, may you rest in... Ashes. Bye bye. Bloody relief plates. One strange plate has faces carved into either side of it. One side has blood streaked across it. So, pretty easy puzzle. Um. So it's fit as, as the note says. It's fifty fifty odds. One of these is the right way. If it has blood on it, that means. She died and got squished on her, so definitely not that side. It is this side is the safe one. That's a fun little puzzle. I feel like you didn't even really need the note for it. Messing with the physics of this place. Oh, back in the hallway. Oh, it's Doctor Jimenez. What the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. <sighs> he will... We... Will oh, a method you're involved. This. It's... Like linking brains together, sharing everything on an electrochemical level emotion, memory, perception, everything directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? 
It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. Yep, that's this story. N not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but I'd say he wants us dead. <gasps> no fucking way. Holy shit. Never would have been able to guess that one. This dude's a fucking Doctor. genius. He was able to decipher that. He's a bottle for whatever reason. Here's a journal entry. Journal Sebastian Cassianos, June 16th, 2009. We dropped off Lily for her first day of preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Myra, God bless her, has been through has, ah, has had a tough three years. Raising a baby is a full-time job, and she's finally going to get the break she deserves. By break, I mean coming back to the KCPD mis missing persons bur bureau. <laughs> Uh, the amount of disappearances here seems to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. I exaggerate, of course, but there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped, and Myra will help see to that. She's damn good at her job, and obviously happy to be back in her element. Okay, got a note. Noted. Going over here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Crash Bandicoot time! Crash Bandicoot time! Jesus Christ. Fuck you, Rubik. <laughs> um, I think that's a pretty conclusive end for what we can do for right now. Um, yeah, I already streamed for... This is already going to be a three-hour stream, so... I think we're good there. Um, we can just go ahead and save, and I'll give my usual spiel and whatnot. Uh, one, I want to go and thank everyone for hanging out on stream. Really appreciate it. Um, if you want to go and like, comment, subscribe on all the socials, there's obviously here on Twitch, you can follow, very close hitting affiliate, just need to get those average, um, viewers up, and then we'll be affiliate, I already have some, uh, emotes that are gonna drop as soon as we get that, so that will be fun. Um, my podcast, Game Session Podcast, is filmed live here at 6.30pm PST on Sundays. You can later find it on podcast services as well as on YouTube as full episodes and individually cut up segments for easier digestion. I stream here on Twitch, kind of whenever I feel like it. I'll usually just plan it a little bit ahead of time. And um, you can also stay up to date with me the best way on anything that I do over on Twitter. Uh, whether it's streams or just bullshitting, making jokes, whatever. It's all video game stuff, mostly. Um... You can help support me financially over on Patreon. Most of that, well, not most, all of that money is just going basically straight to um, hosting the uh, the podcast services. I believe it's uh, twenty dollars a month I pay to keep the podcast up and running on podcast services. So uh, the first twenty dollars I make on there is going to be going to that. So big thank you to both uh, Sly and Ramen No Man for being my first two patrons on there. It is a huge help and. Um, yeah, thank you for supporting me. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys next time. All right? Bye-bye.